Hi, this is Drew at Finale Fireworks. One of the things that sets Finale 3D apart is support for not only mortar racks, but cake racks, candle racks, and single shot racks of all types, along with tons of customization options. In this video, I'm excited to show you some of the great new racking features we've just released for Finale 3D. Months ago, we added a feature called Easy Racks that allows you to add racks on the fly without creating them in advance. Now, We've combined Easy Racks with the advanced racking options, bringing it all together in a new Add Racks dialog. This dialog is the centerpiece of the improved racks workflow. You can view racks from all collections or filter to a collection of your choice. With the Easy Racks option, you can choose the number of tubes per rack. For other collections, a compatible rack will automatically be chosen by default. When choosing between custom racks, the part number, description, and source collection are displayed. For each group of effects, you can limit the number of racks to add, or you can click ignore to skip racking a set of items altogether. Here you can see I'm skipping the single shot racks, I'll come back to those in just a bit. If you prefer not to work in inches, you can select this option to convert sizes to metric. A dialog is also scrollable to allow you to bring everything into view. After adding racks, a summary is shown listing all the racks in the show. You can return to the summary anytime by going to Racks and then Rack Counts. When creating a new rack, you can now enter a description right in the dialog and specify a tube loading order for racks with multiple rows. After creating a new 50mm rack, I'll add a size range to the other single shot rack in my effects. Next, I'll sleeve the 60mm single shots into a two and a half inch mortar rack. When adding racks for the show again, all existing racks are automatically taken into account. The 60 millimeter sleeved single shots are assigned a two and a half inch rack, and the remaining single shots are assigned to the custom single shot racks. Everything shown so far is available in both the hobbyist and pro versions of Finale 3D. We've also taken the visual racks layout to the next level. This feature is available only in Pro. You can use the drag selection box button or hold the shift key on your keyboard to select multiple racks. The total and selected rack counts are shown at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can view a rack summary for the position using the rack counts button. Drag unracked items from the effect basket directly into racks. Use drag and drop pins to rearrange items in racks or assign items to different pins on the rail. Click on the rail or module address to change its address. Click on a pin to select an item in the script. Right click on the rail to get tips, select events, clear addresses, or delete the rail altogether. Use the Add or Edit Pre-Assigned Rails button to designate specific modules or rails for a position. Use the Readdress button to assign addresses for this position even if it has no pre-assigned firing system configuration. To make addressing even more powerful, we've added four more sort fields and over 40 new sort criteria including options to assign cakes first or last, candles first, single shots first, non-cakes first, or mortar items first. Because addressing and rack loading take place in a single step, we've added advanced options to give you even more control. Now you can give assignment preference to an item that matches any rack, the next tube in rack, the same rack, or the same row in rack. In the script window, we've added two more notes fields, as well as a custom numeric field. These new fields, along with the existing notes field, have also been added as sort options for addressing. To round out the addressing enhancements, we've added rack type, tilt, and reverse tilt, along with type variations. Finally, we've also added type variations for size and reverse size. All of these options allow you to create conditional expressions, such as the ability to sort mortar items by size while ignoring the sizes of cakes or other effects. To cap off this major release of Finale 3D, we also got in some great new non-rack related features, including the ability to drag and drop patterns of effects from one set of positions to another. We also improved make into sequence and spread out evenly to handle grouped effects and give more intuitive results overall. 
Last but not least, we've added real-time pin warning dots, pin counts, and module counts, configurable from the show menu, which take the form of labels appended to the position names in the 3D design window. To give the latest version a try, visit the downloads page on Finale3D.com. That's all for this video. To see more videos, visit the Finale3D YouTube channel, and thanks very much for watching.